Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you a simple yet beautiful card. Um, as you can see, I've used the Beautiful You um, and I've used the new blenders, uh, the new stamping blends. Uh, as you know, they've only just come out and they are fabulous pens. Um, I did um, a very brief tutorial with them last week for you. Um, and so this week I wanted to bring this card to you and um, just really show you how effective they can be um, and I'm hoping I think the Calypso Coral one probably shows up the best but can you see the um, obviously the shading with the um, curves on the dress and in the hat and and I also wanted to show off the skin tones because obviously we have two we have the ivory and the bronze um, so I wanted to just make a similar card um, and just really show you how the colours um, are and how they work so I'm going to zoom in a little bit because you won't see anything at all if I stay that far away. Let's just back you up a fraction. So I'm going to use a base of basic black this time and obviously a layer of Whisper White which I'll try and make sure I keep in shot because as I've got a smaller window. And I'm going to go with the same image this time just again because it's easier for me to show you how the colours work. So I'm just going to pop the image on my D-block. I've got my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And just for this one, I simply just stamped um, random images on and around the card. They don't have to have any particular placement. That will do. Just, and I've just used my Stampin' Scrub here with the Stampin' Mist. Just give it a spray and obviously you can just use it to clean off your memento, off your ink pad, as you can see, nice and clean now. So I'm just going to pop that back in out of the way. And then bring in my blenders that I have in this fabulous box at the moment. So I'm just going to grab out the colours I need so that I'm not clattering and banging around whilst I'm talking. So I need the colour lifter, I need the bronze, I need, if I tip them up that way briefly I should be able to see them, that's crumb cake, that looks like it might be ivory, and then I want calypso coral, dark and light, I want... Daffodil Delight, Dark and Light, I want Pink Pirouette and I want Pool Party and I think that's it. <laughs> so I have all my colours out now and if I can put them just there then you can hopefully see them. So I'm going to start off by just using the bronze and ivory skin tones. So as I said, again, thin and thick ends, and I just use the thick end, and I'm with my um, bronze, I'm just simply sweeping the ink onto the bare legs. So I'm doing that one, I'm gonna do this one, and it may look quite dark at first, but trust me, it soon somehow seems to lighten um, and I think it just looks great when it's done. So that's the bronze. So the ivory is exactly the same and I'm just going to do that on the other ones. Just literally, just, oh nearly missed this one, just swiping it across and that's it on those. And then you just need to colour them in. So as I said, I'm going to go with um, my Calypso Coral on this bottom one. So just ensure, because I actually coloured something in the other day and mixed it up. So just make sure you've got the right ones, light and dark. And all I simply did with my light is, I've just checked that you're still seeing this. Yes, fabulous. I just coloured the hat in with the light got my dark and just added the shade where I wanted it back in with the light and I just circular motioned 
on the hat. You can go back in with the dark if you want to, but I'm quite happy with that. And then you just literally work your way. And I chose to do it in sections because the pens will work better if the ink is still wet. So obviously if I was to colour them all in with light and then go back with the dark, it may look a little odd because it won't have been wet enough to blend the ink. And you just sort of go over all of it again with circular motions and colour it in. So for the skirt, yes, it is quite a large area, but I'm just literally sweeping across it all. Not being particularly careful about the edges. Back in with the dark on obviously where the darker parts of the material are going to be and I just added bits underneath the skirt there again back in with the light and it is literally circular motions over the bits you need to blend and over the top of the darker bits there as well and that's it now if you notice on mine this bit seems a little bit lighter and that's because I used the colour lifter and all I did is I just used the brush nib and I just did that and I just wiped the ink and you can see straight away lifting that colour and instantly you can see you've got the lighter and the dark. If you don't like it go back in with your light and recolour. It's just like that. Simple. So back in with the diff Daffodil Delight and I'm going to rattle through these now because you don't need to see me do it all again or talk through it all again rather. So I'm just going to colour these in. So this is the Daffodil Delight and again because I'm not going to be putting any dark on her dress I'm quite happy to colour that bit in. Bit of shade back in with my light. And I'm just going to put another layer on there just because I want it to be a bit darker. And I'm also going to do this one with the Daffodil Delight. So just colouring in the top, adding some dark back in with the light, the small circular movements, and then we do the skirt. And as I said, these blenders come in, you can buy them individually. So you can buy just Daffodil Delight Light, that's a mouthful. Or you can buy Daffodil Delight Dark, so you can buy them individual. You can buy them as a duo, so Daffodil Delight Light and Dark. Or you can buy them as a whole bundle, which means you will get all the colours in the pack. That is what I did because obviously I wanted to be able to demonstrate them all to you. It's no good me just having half a pack and then not being able to show you all of them. Um, but I just personally prefer to have all of them because that's just how I am. <laughs> so pink pirouette and I'm sure you're getting the gist of this now. Um, like I said there are, with when I did my first tutorial last week you will notice that I showed you there was two ways of doing this. Um, you can either do light and dark or dark and light. Um, I personally find that putting a layer of light down first works better. I shall do the skirt here the other way with the dark first and then the light and we'll see what your thoughts are on it. So, so I'm going to go in with the dark first so I will need to just sweep my colour on. And then in with my light to blend. Now to me it just doesn't seem to blend as well. Whether it's just the way I've done it, I don't know. But I personally just think that it doesn't blend as nicely. And you've got to add a lot more down to get that blending. So obviously when I did my Calypso Coral um it blended quite easily this one i've had to put a lot of the light down 
Um, the other good thing about the colour lift is, can you see here where I've, let me zoom in, where I've made a bit of a mistake, let the focus to kick in. It's gone outside the lines. So if I just grab my colour lifter, give it a little while to dry and we'll come back to that and I'll show you. So just zoom out a little bit more. And so my last one is pool party. And like I said, I prefer putting the light down first. I just think it it works a lot better. It blends a lot better. And I, I that's just the technique that works for me. Um, you may prefer to do it the other way. Um, like I said, it's it's each individual person's choice. I prefer to do it this way. I think you get nicer results doing it this way. And I really like this card. I love how it's turned out. And I love the skin tones. I think they are fantastic. I had other um, blending pens before. I'm not going to mention names. But I had other blending pens before. And there were so many different codes and letters and use this with this and this with this and I just I just couldn't get on with them at all and that's what I love about the Stampin' Up! blends you don't have to think about what you're doing you can just enjoy it so you can just go in and I think I want that dress to be pool party and I use pool party ink and the colour lifter and that's it you know I don't have to be thinking oh well actually I want to blend some of that colour so I need to um I need to pick E21 and Z93 and yes just, just too much isn't it so so there we have our beautiful card now I'm just going to go back to that pink where I made that mistake so I'm hoping once it starts to focus give it a minute Come on. No, it's not going to focus, is it? Let me zoom out a fraction, see if that helps. Oh, is it going to do it? Oh, goodness. There we go. Right. It's not quite cleared it up because um, for whatever reason. So I'm just going to go back in, use my chisel nib this time because I want to get quite close. You may have to do this two or three times just to clear it up. I think, to be honest, the it, the memento has bled for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I've not left it to dry. I don't know. But if you give it a clean, as you can see, it will... Um, oh, it's actually doing it now. It is starting to fade. Um, and obviously, when you have it on a card, nobody will see it because it will have dried and it will just look like part of what it's meant to be. So the only last bit I did do was, I'll just grab them, uh, basic grey. Sorry, no, I'm telling fibs, it's smoky slate. So again, smoky slate, and I just whizzed across the bottom. It's a technical term, you know, that whizzed. <laughs> I just whizzed across the bottom, went over a bit with the dark, and back in again with the light. And I just did that with all of them. Back on. Whiz it. Don't forget the whizzing. That's the important bit. Oops, I'm using the bullet tip now. Oh, why not? Just throw it out there. Be a bit different. And back in again with the lighter grey. And like I said, that is it fabulous looking card you just then need to back it onto your card base and as I say I've gone for basic black on this one and then you just need to add your sentiment which you can choose to put whatever you wish I chose happy birthday gorgeous on that one so I'm just going to grab some of my scrap card here and I'm going to go with Bermuda Bay again just because I think it looks quite nice with the pool party. So going back to Bermuda Bay, happy birthday gorgeous. I'm just going to use my D block because that's the one I've got to hand and I just popped it on. Oops, let's try that again. We don't want those 
bubbles in the O's. Slightly better. Let's just cover that up before I dip my arm in it. And then, as I, as I do with all of mine, you just simply trim your sentiment. And if it's not quite straight, this is the time that you can cut it straight. So just trim off the edges. And I am a little bit naughty. Whoops! When it comes to laving, I'm going to just use my scissors on that because I think my blade possibly needs changing. So I'm just get this out of the way. When I come to doing my layering, I'm just going to grab my, my black. When I come to doing my layers, I'm a little bit naughty, I suppose, because I cut it out as I have done. That's not straight, I can tell from here. Better. I generally don't measure my layers. I stick them on to whatever colour background I need. I layer up this end and this edge and then I just use my big scissors and a nice slow steady cut and I just cut my layer out and then I just need to grab a couple of dimensionals to pop on the back. And that's it. And like I said, I think that's a great card. It gives you a chance to have a play with the... I'm going to be a bit contraire and stick it there, I think. Um, yeah, all you need to do is have a little bit of a play with your blends. And then you create what I think is a lovely card that's really good. And it shows off the colouring and everything. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope it's helped you understand the blending pens a little bit. Obviously I will be doing some more as and when, um, but for now there's a little starter for you. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!